What's going on, video game voting Van Gosh, your boy, the video game voting here with another episode of VIP Voting Initial Plays. We take initial look at new games added to library games we haven't played yet. So, before we get started with today's episodes, we like anything video game related, pickups, video game collections, trades, tips, and tricks. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, turn the bells on for the notifications. So, we're still on the Wii U. Today's game is ESPN Sports Connection. This is kind of like like a party style game seem to be I'm gonna read the back it says it's game time uh, play your favorite sports in a whole new way the Wii U gamepad brings you into the action is played with up to five players also you can utilize well required is the Wii U gamepad also the Wii remote and also you can use the stand royal attachment I guess it's some kind of yeah it looked like a go-kart game on here as well and apparently you gotta use the styles for some games so Let's check it out. Let's do let's try to keep it simple. Because some games require you to use the gamepad as well as the Wii Remote. So that's a little difficult to do. So let's try tennis. Match of can cannonball looks fun. Let's do cannonball. Um, um, why not? So you can't okay, you can't do that because that requires two players. That sucks, that would have been fun, I think. So match. That's a three. Check. One player. You got everything. I think this one I could just use the gamepad, which would be great. Singles. To serve, use a down swipe. So it's some touch related control going in. And it went too fast for me to see. Hold A to play at the net. Go on the serve, try to hit the ball. Alright, we're gonna figure it out. You almost look like the me characters on the Wii. On the Nintendo Wii. Let's see if I read that correctly guess I gotta hit it again yeah okay all right so yeah these are touch controls so basically it's a swipe let me see about yep so whatever direction you swipe can determine which way you hit the ball with the racket and in order to serve you gotta do a swipe down then you gotta do a swipe up to actually send the ball over the net so when it's in the air then you hit it again and you use the left analog stick to control your character. Wow. All right, this kind of fun. I like, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm killing this guy right now. Boom. Definitely give a new twist to playing tennis. Forty love. Game point. And I do like actually how they utilize the touchpad with this game. I think the controls are real real nice with this. It seemed like it was kind of going to be a little difficult, but it's really not. Game. And we won, of course. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. So let's check out. Wait till we get past the replay. Oh, no, it's actually best of three. Let me finish this. Oh wow, that was terrible. Thirty love. It seems like it's a little different with the controls now that I'm on the receiving end and not serving. I don't know why. Maybe my swipe pad is off. Yeah, okay, Hit that one. I don't know why it just seemed like it was off for some reason. Got it. 30-15. He just score? How did he score? I must have hit it out of bounds. Up 30-30. Oh, I forgot this. This is a separate game. A new game, I should say. 40-30. 
missed. Game point. Now nah, we gotta make a comeback. Jeez. Game. Yeah, I think it's best of three, so got a tiebreaker match. And it's really important with your touch controls, how you swing your racket. Not really sure how to control which direction the ball goes in during the serve. You can kind of manipulate it when you just kind of lobbing back and forth. But I'm going to try to hit it to the left. And it's not really not able to kind of control the directions and manipulate where you hit the ball. Like when you just kind of going back and forth. Got him. He ain't gonna catch that. Matt. That's the game win. That graphically don't look too bad. It's pretty, pretty decent. That was fun. Alright. Um, let's try. Um, no, I won't play it again. I wonder if it's taking me back to the main menu. Could try another game. I think baseball might be uh let's see what we got. I'll go back. Um golf would probably be fun too. Let's try Let's do baseball. Or oh, the go card. We're gonna do baseball. Exhibition. Three innings. Check one player. This requires the gamepad and the Wii Remote. Swing the Wii, Wii Remote to hit the ball to pitch, draw a line. So that's how you would utilize. See, you know what? I forgot about the styles. That would have better control with the uh Serving and hitting the ball back and forth if I was using the stylus. Catch the, hold the game pad up and move around to the line. Line your glove on the ball. Okay. This ain't simple enough. I guess it's not as bad because when you're on defense, you basically are utilizing the Wii game pad and using Wii remote when you're on offense. Alright, let's get this started. We the most calibrated. I don't know Play ball. if I'm up to bat first or I'm on defense. And I'm pitching, so just flip, experiment with different lines. So I imagine whichever way you kind of manipulate with the stylus will determine like if it's a fastball or slider sinker whatever so let's try i'm gonna just do a quick one see if it just be a fastball the batter swing clues on what to pitch the batter swing provides clues on what to pitch watch carefully follow the catcher's advice to trick the batter okay let's see what he's talking about in this one you got to kind of pay attention to the Wii you game pad so it's telling me to i guess you gotta draw it just like that i want to show you all that on the screen get up in there like if you can see that I know my lights is kind of glaring it's kind of tell you which way to draw your pattern Foul. all right Foul. I think that's pretty good you gotta actually use the ball you gotta put the stylus on the ball and then draw your pattern yep I got that one good oh right we're gonna strike him out. 
Now, I guess this is a fastball because it's like right down the center. Let's see what we got. Ball one. Too low. Okay. Not really sure how to control that one, but let's see. Ball two. How is that a ball? I'm trying to figure that out. We got this one though. It's a curveball. And I throw it too wide though, yep. Ball three. Let's try that again. There it is. That's a good pitch. Got him. Right out. Drop him out. Alright, so just right down the center. I don't know why I Strike felt the need one. to kind of um, swipe fast like it was going to throw it faster. I don't think that plays a role in how fast the ball gets pitched. You just kind of draw your line. Curveball. Oh, he rocked that. No chance to catch. Oh, my God. I guess see hit a home run. So what do you do? Okay, so you kind of can't play the field like that. It'll tell you whether or not you got a chance to catch because it says no chance to catch on the screen. So, got him. Strike right. one. Curveball coming from the left this time. No chance to catch. So they just scored. Great hit. Yeah, two triples. Now I wonder if you do it faster, will it pick up the speed of the pitch? So let's see. Like a sinker. Ball one. Got one out. We need two more outs. Threw that one kind of high. Got Strike him. two. Let's see what we got. Let's put him out of there. Curveball. You're out. Strike out. Wanna get my chance, give myself a chance to bat as well to kind of see how that gameplay is as well. See, we get this last out, Vanguard. Let's go. Strike one. Line drive. All right, so now I want to show y'all this too. Depending on how they hit the ball, it'll tell you whether or not you got a chance to catch. So it's telling you you got to utilize the game pad, and you got to kind of get the game pad underneath. And oh, that was the Wii remote. You got to line the game pad underneath the ball, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be shown on the uh, Wii U game pad. So we're gonna try to do that now. So close. Okay, so that's great hit. A little difficult sit behind the desk but and it basically it show you like what arrows in the direction which way the ball's landing computer's killing me right now great hit score it again Try to put him out of here. Once I go back to main. Matter of fact, no, I actually want to hit. So I gotta try to get this last out. I was gonna try another game. Strike one. But let's see if we can get him out because I do want to try going up the bat. Ball one. I should have been strike. I was in the strike zone. Strike two. And he's swinging that. That was right down the center. 
sinker. Strike out. Down. All right, now we up to bat. All right, so that wasn't as bad. Once you get used to drawing your lines, you can kind of manipulate which kind of pitch you're throwing. It'll be pretty simple. Hold the weed remote straight up. On your side, point it straight up. Okay. Batter up. Swing the weed remote to hit the ball. Now, do you have to press the button or do you just swing? We'll see. Okay. Ball one. Oh, I got to turn it. Well, yeah, you got to turn on your side. And, it right two. and the way my uh, sensor bug. You're out. I don't swing. So yeah, make sure you give yourself space. And not be behind the desk like I am. Because I can't obviously swing and knock my computer over. Strike so one. Try it again. Got a piece of it. All right, at least I hit the ball. Good stuff. Grounder. Now I wonder if you got swing in an upward motion to kind of elevate it. You made contact though, so that's good. Strike one. Oh crap. I hit it. It's out of here. Home run, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Home run time. See, I can crack it over real quick. Foul. Getting used to it. Like, I really feel like if I had more space, it'd be crap. Why wow, swing? Strike two. Strike out. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, they dancing on me. They petting. Change side. All right, guys. So that was. I know we only did two games, but. It took some time to kind of get through it but that was espn sports connection like i said i really like how they utilize the touchpad and the wii remote as well as the stylus take some little getting used to and make sure you have plenty of space to play games like this where you, they utilize the wii remote because you and the gamepad too because i actually got it plugged in on the charger you got to have space to move around so you definitely don't want to do it in the environment that i'm doing it right now because it's just it's not enough space you can potentially break something or hurt yourself so that was ESPN Sports Connection. Thank you for supporting the channel. Make sure you subscribe if you hadn't hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments section what you think about this game. Have you played it before? And after seeing this footage, does it interest you? So, thank you for the support. Stay tuned for the Video Game Voting Podcast. It's available on all podcast platforms as well. And stay tuned for Video Game Voting on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. This is your boy, the Video Game Voting, signing off.